<clears throat> on this problem, what we want to do is we want to find the inverse. So when we're talking about our um, outline with the inverse, what the actual inverse is, is it's actually the, it's taking our function of our input and our output value and it's actually switching them around. So a lot of times, you know, we talk about our function, we have here is the output value and here is our, and our x was our input value. Well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to switch those two values. And it's a lot easier, it's very easy to see this when it's a graphical. But to represent this on this equation, a lot of times uh, we've been doing functions, we've been using f of x as our output. However, we can also represent our output as, our, as y. Right? That was one of our first transitions when we started talking about functions, was to say, hey, we're going to start using f of x for our output value. Well, let's go back to what we've, when we were graphing x and y axis, let's go back to using y as our output value. So now what we're going to do when we're trying to find the inverse is we are going to, I'm oh, sorry about that. It's okay. What we're going to do is we are going to uh, change our input and our output. So to change that, to represent that, let's just switch our x and our y value. So first thing you do, let's go back to using a y, and then let's just interchange the x and y value. All right? Then the next thing we want to do is now we have to solve for y to find our inverse. So we have to get rid of this cube root. Well, the inverse function, remember the inverse uh, operation of addition is subtraction. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. The inverse operation of a cube root would be to cube it. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do it on the other side. So we cube it, those cancel out. I'm left with x cubed equals y. Then let's go back to our notation. How do we write inverse? Is we write f, a little negative one up there. Inverse f inverse of x now equals x cubed. So all you really need to do when you're trying to find the inverse of a function Show it as y, switch your x and y, and then solve for y, and then just put it back to on this problem. Yes? Uh, okay. Um, so, yes. so the answer is um, always like x and like that? Yeah, it's still in your terms of x. It's still your out, you know, it still has your input and your output. This is just a new function. Yes. Okay, so what are the we on the problem? What are them two in the box? Okay. Well, this is everything good for this guys? Okay. 